guys it's amelia welcome back to my channel and happy wednesday so today we're gonna dive into a crochet amigurumi project we are going to be making a little boston terrier we're gonna be making a pattern i'm making it up right now i don't even know what i'm gonna do but i'm gonna write it all down and have it down here at the bottom for you step by step instructions how to do each stitch literally everything so don't worry if you don't have a lot of experience crocheting you can still do this project it'll just take some patience what you're gonna need for this project is black and white yarn i use the brand karen simply soft that's my favorite yarn to use you're gonna need a crochet hook of course size g you're gonna need a yarn needle to thread in your loose end and sew on different pieces. I think I'm also gonna be using some felt and you're going to need a little sewing needle and some white thread to attach that. And then also these little plastic eyes and nose that you can get on Amazon and I'll have a link in the description that you can snap into your project and it makes it look a little bit more realistic. And finally, you're going to need stuffing of course, so whatever you want, stuffing of your choice. Okay, now that we know what we need, let's dive into the project. The first thing you're going to do is create a slip knot to begin your work. So you're going to take the end of your yarn, loop it around two fingers, push it through and grab the loop, but don't let the tail go through. Grab the tail and then pull on the loop and the tail. And you're going to create a little slip knot and by adjusting the tail, you can change the size. So you're going to start with a little bit of a loop and put your crochet hook through. First thing we're going to do is something called a chain. We're going to yarn over, which means you loop under the yarn and grab it with your hook. And then you're gonna pull it through the loop and that is one chain. So to begin a crochet in the round project, which is where you kind of spiral out to create a round object like a head for our little dog, you're gonna do something called a magic ring or you're just going to do what I do, which is chain two and then stitch back into the first chain. So I've chained one, I'm gonna chain another one. So just two, you can see the different chains. So I've got one, and then two. So I'm gonna go back into the first one and I'm going to stitch into it. So our first crochet stitch is going to be a single crochet. And that is where you just go through your chain, yarn over, pull back through. You've got two loops on your hook. You're gonna yarn over and you're gonna pull your yarn through both of those loops. And that is a single crochet. And we're gonna start out with five single crochets into this first chain. Once you've done that, you can pull on the tail to kind of cinch up that loop, and you're gonna have a piece that looks like this. For our next row, we're gonna do an increase row where we do two single crochet stitches in every stitch we just did, so that we're gonna end with 10. So I'm gonna go through my stitch, yarn over, pull through, two loops on the hook, and then pull through those two. So that's one, and then I'm gonna go through the same stitch again and do it again. Repeat that all the way around until we have 10 stitches in total. And then your piece is gonna look like this. So if I'm ever going too fast for you in this video or you just get confused about a stitch or any kind of terminology, I have a video called Crocheting Basics and I will link it in the corner here and in the description. And you can go watch that video and I explain everything in more detail of just like crocheting basics. So if that's helpful to you, check that out. For our next increase row, we're not gonna do two stitches in each stitch again. This time, we're going to do a pattern of one single crochet in the first stitch, two single crochets in the second stitch one single crochet in the third stitch, two single crochets in the fourth stitch. So that you're doing every other one and that's gonna increase our 10 stitches to 15. Now your piece is gonna look like this. It's a little concave. Now we're gonna do a fourth row, another increase row. This time we're gonna do a similar pattern but we're gonna do single crochet in the first stitch, single crochet in the second stitch, then in the third stitch, we're gonna do our two single crochets. So then fourth stitch is one single crochet, fifth stitch is one single crochet, six stitch, two single crochets. And that's gonna turn our 15 stitches into 20. But now what I like to do is put the tail of my work into the stitch, the last stitch that I did when I'm done increasing so that I know where I stopped my increase rows because we're gonna do a couple rows of just one single crochet in each stitch around to create the height on the head. I think we're gonna do it for two rows. One stitch in each stitch around, knowing that this string marks the beginning of each row and you come back when you're done with that. After those two rows, you're gonna come back and your piece is gonna look like this. So now we're gonna start doing decrease rows. So I'm gonna move my little marker one more time. 
So a decreased row is the same method as an increased row, but instead of adding stitches, you take them away. So our last increased row was two single crochets before two single crochets in the third stitch. So now we're gonna do a single crochet, a single crochet, and then in the third stitch, we're gonna do a decreased stitch, and I'll show you how to do that. So I'm gonna do my first two single crochets. And a decrease stitch is where you go through the stitch, yarn over, and then you go through the next stitch and you yarn over again. So now you have three loops on your hook, yarn over and go through all three to turn those two stitches into one. So you're gonna repeat that all the way around and it's gonna turn our 20 stitches back into 15. And at the end of that decrease row, your head is gonna look like this. So now we're gonna do another decrease row. This time we do one single crochet in the first stitch, and then in the second stitch and the third stitch, we're gonna do our decrease stitch to combine them together. And we're gonna repeat this pattern all the way around, and it's gonna turn our 15 stitches back into 10. So then your piece looks like this, and it's really starting to take on like a little sphere shape. So now we're gonna figure out the eye placement and we're gonna stuff the head. And also, before we do that, we're gonna cut out some little white circles out of our white felt to go around the eyes to make the eyes look a little bit more realistic and just to stand out on the black head. After you've cut out your two little white circles, you're going to use little scissors to kind of cut a little hole in the middle. Just use these little scissors that I have so that you can stick the black eye through them so that it becomes like the white outside of the eye. And this is what they'll look like when you're done. So now we need to figure out the placement of the eyes on the head. So a Boston Terrier has the little white stripe between its eyes that we're gonna be adding with the white felt later on. So we need to make sure we leave room for that. But to put the eyes in, you just poke this little plastic piece down in between some stitches. So I think this looks good. Boston Terriers kind of have their eyes like on the side of their head a little bit like a little turtle. So we leave room for the big nose here and the white stripe. So once you have the eyes where you want them, Go ahead and turn your piece partially inside out so that the little plastic piece is kind of sticking back out. And then you're going to take the second piece that came with the eye, which should be a little plastic circle of some kind, and you're going to snap it on. And then turn it back right side out, and you've got your little eyes attached. Now that we've done that, we can stuff the rest of the head. Once you're happy with the amount of stuffing in the head, Put your crochet hook back into your loop and do decrease stitches all the way around to decrease these 10 stitches back into five. Once you get to the end and there's no big hole where you can see the stuffing, you're just gonna cut your yarn leaving a big tail, pull your loop through, and then later we'll use our yarn needle to use this to attach it to the body. So now we have the little head of our Boston Terrier. So cute. You're gonna start out with your two chains after you have your slip knot, and then we're gonna stitch back into that first chain. You could also start with a magic ring if you want. Five single crochet stitches, just like we did for the head. Now you might be asking yourself, why are you teaching us how to make a Boston Terrier? You don't even have a Boston Terrier. You don't have any connection to them. You love corgis. Why aren't you teaching us how to make a corgi? Well, gosh, I will teach you how to make a corgi later if you want, but I have a friend from church who has a Boston Terrier named Oreo, and I thought it'd be fun to make a Boston Terrier and give it to her. So this is not for me. This is for my friend Haley. But, you know, while I was making it, I figured I'd just share it with everybody in case it turned out really cute. We'll find out. <laughs> so for the next row, you're going to do two single crochets in each. So we're going to repeat the same process we did with the head to turn our five single crochet stitches into ten. So when you're done, your piece is going to look like this. And for our first increase row, we're going to be doing a single crochet in the first stitch. And then two single crochets in the second stitch. And it's going to turn our 10 stitches into 15. We're going to do one more increase row. So just like we did with the head, it's going to be two single crochets into the first two stitches. And then in the third stitch, you're going to do two single crochets. Repeating that pattern all the way around to turn our 15 stitches into 20. And your piece is going to look like this. For the next row, we're going to do one stitch in each stitch around so that you just have 20 stitches. And then your piece is going to look like this. For our next row, we're going to do a decrease row and I'm going to go ahead and move my little marker so I don't lose my place. So we're going to do a quick decrease row. So in the first stitch, we're going to do a single crochet. In the second stitch, we're going to do a single crochet. And then in the third and fourth stitches, we're going to do our decrease stitch all the way around to turn our 20 back into 15. 
Then your piece is gonna look like this. And for the next row, I'm just gonna do one stitch in each stitch around, so 15 stitches. When you're done, it's gonna look like this. For the next row, we're gonna do another decrease row. So in the first stitch, we're gonna do a single crochet. Then the second and third stitches, we're going to do our decrease stitch, repeating all the way around to turn our 15 back into 10. Then your piece will look like this. And now we're just going to do a couple rows of single crochets, one stitch in each stitch around to create the end of his body. And I think we're gonna do two rows for that. And now just like we did for the head, for the final row, we're just gonna do decrease stitches all the way around to close off the piece. So your finished body piece will look something like this. So we're gonna start out with our two chains and then stitching back into the first chain that we made. And we're only gonna stitch back four single crochet stitches. Then I'm gonna pull on my little tail to cinch it up. And your piece is gonna look like this. Next, I'm going to just stitch one stitch in each stitch around, which is really tricky when you're doing a small amount of stitches. So you might need to change to a smaller hook. I'm gonna see if I can do it with the G hook. So after those two rows, I wanna create like a bend because I want his foot to exist and then like bend up into his leg. So how we're gonna do that is you've just completed your second row. So what you're gonna do in the next stitch is you're gonna do a new kind of stitch that we haven't done called a half double crochet. And that's where you yarn over before you go into the stitch. So then you have three loops on your hook. And it just creates a wider, bigger stitch. So we're gonna do that once and then in the next stitch as well, we're just gonna keep doing single crochets around. And that's just gonna kind of create like an elbow bend, but it's gonna be for his little foot. So to make the ears, you're gonna start with a slip knot and then chain two. And for the first two rows, you're gonna do four stitches in total. For row three, you're gonna do an increased row. So one single crochet in the first stitch, two single crochets in the second stitch and repeat this around. So you'll have six stitches in total. Then we're gonna do another increased row. So one single crochet in the first stitch and two single crochets in the second stitch repeating around. So you have nine stitches in total. And when you're done, your piece is gonna look like this. So for row five, I only did one single crochet in each stitch around to increase the height of the ear. And then in row six, I did one single crochet in the first stitch and then a decrease stitch in the second stitch because I think that Boston Terrier's ears kind of get smaller at the base. So I did a decrease row and repeated that around. So in total, you had six stitches. You're just gonna tie it off and then make a whole nother one so you have two ears for your Boston Terrier. So for the back legs, we're gonna start exactly like we did for the front legs, of course, with a slip knot and then chain two. And then for the first two rows, you're gonna do four single crochets. And then for the third row, we're going to do our two half double crochets into the first two stitches. And then the remaining two stitches of the row are going to be just regular single crochets, just one single crochet in each stitch around. And then you're going to switch to your black yarn. So after the fourth row, you're gonna to switch to your black yarn. And how you switch easily, this is just how I switch colors. You just tie off the first color, make a slip knot in the new color, and then uh, pull it through the stitch you just worked on. And then do something called a slip knot where you just yarn over and pull through the one loop on your hook to secure it. And then for row five, you're just gonna do one single crochet in each stitch around, so four stitches in total followed by an increased row, one single crochet in the first stitch, and then two single crochets in the second stitch, repeating around, so you have six stitches in total. For rows seven and eight, you're just gonna do one stitch in each stitch around, and then you're going to stuff your leg. And for the last row, you're going to do a final decrease row where you do one single crochet into the first stitch and then one decrease stitch into the second, repeating around so you have four stitches. This is what your leg will look like when it's done and you're gonna need to make two. Now that we have all the pieces, we can sew it together with our yarn needle.
So the first thing you're going to do is stitch it kind of closed at the top. Of course you're going to use your white felt to cut out little rounded triangle shapes for the inside of the ears and then I also cut out a chest piece and a piece for the head for in between the eyes and you can see that better later on to sew those on we're just gonna get a needle and thread just white thread you're gonna start from the back of the felt with a knot come out through the felt and then into the crocheting and then up through the felt and then back into the crocheting kind of doing a whip stitch motion all the way around the ears trying to keep your stitches nice and even and you're going to use the same method later on to sew on the face piece and the chest piece to make the nose you're going to start with a slip knot and chain two and for the first row you're going to do five crochet stitches for the second row you're going to do two single crochet stitches in each stitch around and then your piece is going to look like this and for the third row you're going to do an increase row so one single crochet in the first stitch and then two single crochets in the second stitch repeating around and after your increase row your piece is going to look like this and then immediately following that you're going to do a decrease row so one single crochet in the first stitch and then one decrease stitch into the second stitch for row five you're just going to do decrease stitches around and then you're going to add your little plastic nose and stuff it. Then use the tail to sew the back shut. And then I used the excess yarn to create that little divot at the bottom that kind of is the mouth underneath the nose. So I just put the yarn up underneath the nose and then pulled it really tight to create that little divot and then tied it off in the back. So the last thing you have to do after sewing on the nose is attach the two felt pieces remaining, the little chest piece, and in between the eyes. Just the same method as we used to sew on the ears. This is little mini Oreo. I'm really happy with how he turned out, and Haley thought he was cute, so it was a success. Um, thank you so much for watching this video and the tutorial. Let me know in the comments if there's any other dog breeds or animals you'd like to see me make because I just love making little animals. And I will see you all next Wednesday for another video. Bye guys!